How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to my low level Queen Black Dragon guide. Uh, so this guide is for anyone who either is uncomfortable with the boss, doesn't have much experience with it, um, or just doesn't have very high stats, doesn't have a lot of money for great gear, or doesn't have super anti-fires because I have a method that allow you to kill the Queen Black Dragon uh, without super anti-fires almost as quickly as if you'd been using them. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to jump right in, but first quick disclaimer, uh, QBD Practice makes perfect. I will show you every single mechanic, every single type of attack. I will actually commentate through an entire kill as well and tell you the best setups to use, but it'll still take a bit of practice before you can get a kill. So anyways, on to the start of the guide. Okay, so first off, I've got requirements. Uh, the only requirement to fight the Queen Black Dragon is 60 summoning, and then one that I've made is the Songs from the Depths quest. It is a novice quest. It has almost no requirements whatsoever, and it gives you a damage reduction passively against the Queen Black Dragon, so it's invaluable. Now, recommendations. Uh, I recommend that you have 70 plus of either attack, strength, defense, and magic, or range, defense, and magic. I'd recommend you have piety or rigor unlocked, um, which takes 70 prayer and a couple quests. Um, obviously, if you do have curses and turmoil and all that stuff, that's even better. And also, I recommend you have 50 agility for faster banking. Okay, so now into the methods. Pretty much I've included the higher tier gears, but I don't expect you to have them. That's why Darox is highlighted. You can get a kill very quickly in about three and a half to four minutes with a Darox set, <laughs> which costs about two mil. So if you don't have any of the better stuff, you do not need it for this guide. I just figured I'd include it. But basically how it goes for gearing, use the highest tiered weaponry you have. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, the only discrepancy in that is that Darox and Varox would go ahead of the God Swords because of the passive effects. Uh, that make the kills a lot faster. So Darox, the lower your hit points get, the higher you hit, and Varax just has a chance of hitting through all sorts of armor and hitting really high. Uh, so yeah, whether you choose melee or ranged, it works pretty much the same way. Okay, so now for armor, obviously use the highest tiered armor you have uh, of the combat style that you plan on using, unless you're using a Barrow's weapon, and in that case you'd want to use the rest of the set. So you wouldn't want to be wearing full Torva with a Darox axe, you'd want the rest of the Darox set. That's all I'm trying to say there. Okay, so into the types of attacks, I'm going to go into each of these in detail and show you how to dodge them. Okay, so the first attack is the firewall attack. So you'll see a message in the chat box saying that she's going to take a huge breath. Uh, what you do then is you basically run backwards and put on your anti-dragon shield and you will just run back and forward through the flame wall. Um, and as you can see, I dodge all three of these firewalls while only taking 75 damage. It's as simple as that, just run back and then run back forward through it. Uh, stay moving vertically, try not to move horizontally. Now, as you can probably see, there are gaps in the flame walls. Uh, that's why you're standing where you're standing. You're permanently in one of the gaps, uh, but it is probably not worth it for you to run through the gaps themselves as a lot of the time you can miss and just end up dealing yourself even more damage. Um, and the other thing that might make it even easier is instead of running back and forward through each individual flame wall and getting an attack on the Queen Black Dragon as I did in the clip, what you can do is you can just run all the way back to the end of the arena and then run all the way through two or three if you time it right flame walls in one click. Uh, so yeah, that is even easier. Okay, so the next attack is the Tortured Souls attack. Okay, so same deal, you'll see a purple message in the chat box this time, and when you do, move your mouse two squares to the west of yourself. Uh, when the soul pops up, wait 0.6 seconds, you can count it out, and then click to the west. And then the attack will hit the soul instead of hitting you. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so one other important thing concerning the souls is in the fourth phase, if you are within melee distance of the Queen Black Dragon, uh, pretty much what can happen is the souls will spawn randomly, and there are four souls that spawn. Uh, so you kind of need to think on your feet a bit, and basically you just click somewhere, anywhere, so that uh, you're not being hit by all four attacks. Uh, so a good combination is you can click somewhere so that you you can usually easily absorb at least two of the attacks. Uh, so you absorb two of the attacks and then you just eat a food and you're back where you were. Uh, so that's something you kind of have to do on the fourth phase. Okay, so the next attack is the super sneeze attack on phase four. So same thing, you'll see a message in the chat box. It is super important. You need to run to the side of the arena to dodge this attack. You'll be hit but by not nearly as much. So put on your anti-dragon shield and run to the side. Simple as okay, that. Okay, so the next attack is the crystal colors attack. Not really an attack, but I just wanted to note that the queen black dragon can change colors and will become either weak to range in melee or weak to magic and resistant to the opposite. Um, so I just wanted to say if that happens, resume attacking as normal. Don't freak out or anything. Okay, so now we have the time stop attack. Uh, so for this attack, basically what you want to do is you want to look on the extreme sides of the arena. Only on the very far west or the very far east can the torture soul spawn. If he starts babbling about time being short, top priority to kill him. If you do not kill him, you will be frozen for 20 seconds, which is not good. You will very likely die. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is the giant worms or the grot worm. So basically, if you finish a phase and an artifact begins to glow, click on it as soon as possible, as the longer you take, the more of these worms will spawn, and they can do quite a bit of damage by the end of the kill. Okay, so the last attack worth mentioning is the siphon attack. Basically, you'll see another message in the chat box saying that she's going to siphon off the souls. Basically, you want to kill the souls around you because um, the Queen Black Dragon will heal considerably um, from them, but this does not happen very often. You can go 10 kills without seeing this happen, so don't worry too much about it. Okay, and this is how to get to the Queen Black Dragon. It's very simple. Okay, so it's very simple to get to this boss. What you're going to do is you're just going to use the Port Serum Lodestone, make sure you've got your familiar full of food and you're all geared up you've got everything you need and yeah you're basically just going to run sort of northwest to this little tunnel uh you can recharge your summoning at the obelisk there and then you run in uh now if you have 50 agility like i do you'll go as i go south um otherwise you can run north through a passage that takes about a minute to get through uh but otherwise just click on the agility shortcut and you are ready to face the qbd okay guys so here is a kill i did with a darok set in three minutes and 40 seconds without spray fire i've commentated over the whole thing afterwards and basically added in every single tip and every single thing you'll need to know to kill the queen black dragon yourself Alrighty, guys here is a full kill at not not sped up whatsoever uh but don't worry it'll only take about three minutes and 40 seconds of your day because it was a really quick kill uh so just basically pot up put your prayers on make sure you've got protect from magic on uh pot up and turn on your aura and scrimshaw and start attacking the queen black dragon it's pretty simple um <laughs> Now, because we are using Darks, the lower our hit points are, the higher we're going to hit. So you'll see my hit points are somewhere between probably 250 and 450 for pretty much the whole kill. Um, it's really a confidence thing. I've had a lot of practice with this boss, uh, so I'm not worried about it. If you don't want to risk your hit points at all, don't worry about it. You can still hit pretty high and get pretty quick kills. It'll just speed them up a bit if you decide to risk it a little bit. And also, practice makes perfect, so if you're risking it and you find yourself getting KO'd ever, that is probably not a good thing, and you should probably eat a little higher up. Uh, but anyways, at the end of each phase of the Queen Black Dragon, pretty much what happens is an artifact glows. It's the same order every time. So after the first phase, you want to touch the glowing artifact right where my mouse is. Um, and then it'll be the far left, the far right, and then the far back middle. Uh, also, you're going to want to stand where I stand because that is a gap in the flame wall. There's always going to be a gap in the flame wall there when she summons a flame wall. Uh, which reminds me, always be looking out in the chat box for whenever she says she's going to summon up a flame wall. Whenever she does... Basically, that's when you put on your anti-dragon shield before you run through the flame wall. Uh, because if you don't, you'll be hit for 187 damage per uh, per flame wall instead of 75. Uh, so basically, just look out for that. And other than that, it's pretty simple. Now, in a second, you'll see a soul come. Um, you'll see me dodge it. You wait one tick. You click by it, and it's dodge. Simple as that. Um, and I know I've already shown you guys that, but <laughs> this is part of the full kill which I thought I would just, I'd keep everything in as is. I wasn't going to speed it up or anything so that I've got time to say what I need to say to make sure you guys are good to go on this boss. So second phase is almost over and you'll see me run to the far left to click on the artifact. And then you need to run back quickly because if you take too long off the platform, you'll be hit for 150 damage rapidly. Uh, so yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to be hit by that. Uh, so now Third phase happens, so in the third phase you will see three flame walls, because it's phase three, phase two, there are two flame walls per time, and you'll also see two souls at a time. Uh, so as you can see, I've put on the anti dragon shield for the flame attack, and I'm running through the flame walls, easy as that, and I got through the entire three flame walls by only getting hit 75 damage, which is pretty great. Um, so yeah, third phase is just like the first and the second, you can still kind of risk your HP. The Queen Black Dragon doesn't have much KO potential. Um, because even the two souls, you get hit 200 damage by them. So if you need to, if you can't dodge them in time, you can just eat food. Um, but anyways, uh, now we're about to enter the fourth phase. So this is the phase you need to be worried about. This phase is substantially harder than any of the other phases. You get four flame walls at a time. You get the time stop attack. You get the um, siphoning to heal attack. Uh, you get extremely hot flames. And quick warning, when the super hot flames happen, uh, first let me dodge this time stop. You see the guy in the corner, you kill him. Uh, but when the hot flames happen, put on your anti-dragon shield and run to the side. If you don't, you will die for absolutely sure <laughs> because it hits ridiculously high um, and very rapidly as well. So just make sure you do that. But aside from that, it's pretty smooth sailing. The other thing you don't want to ever do while fighting the Green Black Dragon is you never want to run through a flame wall. So you never want to run back through it. So if there's a flame wall that pops up, uh, wait for it to go before running back to touch an artifact. Um, and I intentionally did this right at the end of the kill because I saw I had some extra food. <laughs> so I went and did that. 
So you guys will see in just a second that I intentionally I run through it and it'll just show you how much damage you'll actually take. So see I run back just to show you guys what happens when you run through it. See, you're getting hit, you're getting hit, you're getting hit. I would have died had I not eaten there. <laughs> so yeah, you want to be careful when running through flame walls. Uh, but yeah, that is the entire kill. It is as simple as that. I didn't even touch my uh, war, sorry, not my war tortoise, my uh, terror bird, still full of food. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty easy, right? It wasn't too bad. It just takes a bit of practice. That's my disclaimer. You're not going to get it on the first kill, but after a couple, it's pretty easy. And I actually got a royal piece as well, so there's like a good 450 or 500k, which is always nice to make some money in the bank. But yeah, that was the full commentated kill. Okay, so quickly, if you plan on using EOC, here are just some examples of action bar setups you can use. Um, but it works the exact same way as the kill I showed you on Legacy. Uh, just, it's actually a little easier because you can use abilities that heal you. And now into the drops. So you can get royal crossbow pieces that are very common. You get about 250 to 300k per. Uh, Dragon Kite Shield is very rare, it's worth about 300k. You get consistent supplies like Lanadimes, Onyx Bolt Tips, and lots of ores. Uh, you can get Lanadimes, um, 50 Lanadimes is about 520k, for example, so you can make a lot of money at this boss. Uh, the other drop you can get is a Draconic Visage. It's somewhat rare, I've had about 5 or 6 of them in my long amount of time killing this boss, and they go for about 1.2 mil each. Uh, so you can make a ton of great constant money at this boss, probably 3 to 6 mil an hour, depending on your kill speed. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this guide. As always, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and I will reply to them usually the day of, usually the hour of, but it depends, obviously. I'll get to them as quickly as I can. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great one. Good luck in the Queen Black Dragon, and peace.